Welcome to Evolving Element. May you please state your name and what would you like to talk about today? Hello, everyone. I'm Carolina Pais, or just Carol uh, Pais on any social media. Um, I'm an artist and an animator mostly, and that's, that means I make cartoons and I make uh, funny ca characters dance and speak and do whatever they are supposed to say or do. And that's it. That's my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's amazing. Um, thank you so much for sharing that part of your life with us. We're definitely going to be asking you some, well, not everyone. I'm going to be asking you some questions regarding um, your just, your come up story. Like, how did this all start? <laughs> like, did, when did you fall in love with being an animator? Uh, that happened like a long time ago. Uh, because, um, you know, uh, when you're a kid, you, uh, I don't know, you buy DVDs or whatever, and they have like, like special features, like small documents or small uh, behind scene things nobody watches. But you know, people mm -hmm. who are uh, like really in love with uh, with movies and drawing and animation and all of that watch those things. So it was rare for a kid to watch those things, but I was one of those kids. So I remember falling in love with animation with this movie, um, Spirit. Uh, you know the the, the, horse. the horse movie. Yes, yeah, yes, the horse I know movie. Yeah, Disney. <laughs> well, uh, no, or DreamWorks. Was it DreamWorks? From, yeah, uh, yeah, DreamWorks. DreamWorks. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. And, yeah, I got excited. This, this movie. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So this movie has uh, like some behind scenes, mm -hmm. a small documentary of mm -hmm. the process and all of it, and I just fell in love with that. And I remember having uh, like a small tutorial of how to draw a horse with james baxter who is like my oh i admire that guy so much he's like a great animator in uh he's just the, the best and the, the tutorial was with him but at the time when i was younger i just didn't know who he was i didn't know he was like so mm -hmm. good and important um, I didn't know he was going to be become something really important to me, mm -hmm. but yeah, I remember watching that um, small tutorial like a lot of times, and I would draw horses with him. So it uh, it all started with spirit, and that's why it's like uh, I know a lot of people don't like that movie because they say like oh, it's a boring movie, but I I I don't know I just love that movie, but uh, mm -hmm. I've known people who think it isn't that good. But it's really special for me because it's my, it was my first approach to knowing what animation actually was and the process and stuff like that. Wow, that's an awesome entry point into, into the world that you live in now. That, and and <laughs> for the people who don't understand spirit, it's okay. <laughs> it's going to be all right. <laughs> yeah. Um, we'll for, we forgive you. <laughs> yeah, I forgive them for I, not liking this beautiful <laughs> Animated stallion. I mm. forgive them. I love that. That, sh that sounds like a that sounds like a hashtag right there. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I might steal that from you if you let me. Um, <laughs> so okay, this is interesting. And how old were you, more or less, when you watched this this a spirit? Uh, I have no idea. Okay, but it was pretty much the when the DVD was released. So okay. I, I guess that the year the movie was released. I mm -hmm. I suppose. I have no idea, but I, I was I was really young. Okay, um, cool. Maybe in elementary school. Okay. I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm um, sure. I'm Not sure. a problem. Yeah, I know that movie. That movie came out a long time ago, so I was just trying to like, yeah. get, like a gist of like, okay, this is when mm -hmm. it all came to be. Because you know, some things come <laughs> at all different ages, right? Like you can be inspired yesterday, yeah, of course. you know, about something. Okay. Yeah, so, of course, wow. of course. So can, can you like? Put us in maybe the creative studio um, a little bit and let us know, like when you were practicing over and over again, drawing horses, right? What kind of materials <laughs> were you using? Uh, like just uh, color pencils, I guess. Okay. Or okay. yeah, like, like those uh, Crayola pencils. Okay. Like um, I, I remember being like super excited when it was like the back to school uh, days. Mm -hmm. Because you get to see all the, <laughs> the 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 stuff in stores, and it's like filled with like all these big packages of of mm -hmm. color pencils and mm -hmm. markers and all of that. 
Hmm. So I will, I will go crazy uh, <laughs> with those and I will ask my mom to, or my dad to buy uh, yeah. like those color pencils with uh, like, like those boxes that has like a hundred mm -hmm. pencils or like 200 pencils. So I was like, oh my God, 200 colors. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can only imagine your shopping cart just being full of everything besides yeah. like uh, what you needed for school, but just colored pencils. That's Yeah, cool. exactly. And I will grab a lot of uh, like notebooks or post-its or things I, I didn't really need. And my mm -hmm. mom will be like, um, yeah, sure, honey. And she will like take them out in the end. <laughs> and I will, I will just never notice. I see. Oh yeah, where are my where are my three thousand post dates? <laughs> like, uh, um, I, I I don't know, but they are your color pencils. Mm. And I was like, oh, okay. So, did your parents know that you were secretly like in love with spirit, or they had a, like a a clear understanding? Like, this is something you're taking very seriously. <laughs> uh, no, they they. I mean, mm. ever since I can remember, I mm. I've drawn stuff. I used to like drawing, you know, animals or like landscapes-ish. Okay. I had like these um, art books from, I don't know, Van Gogh or Clomone. And I will like try to recreate uh, some of the paintings I did. But with, you know, like all lame done by a, like a young kid. <laughs> so it, it all started with um, drawing dinosaurs and like animals. Uh, from from encyclo encyclopedias and okay. stuff like that. But yeah, I I I have like drawings that mm -hmm. are from I don't know from when I was in kindergarten, something like it. Like really mm -hmm. young. But th I mean, they're all ugly. <laughs> but I will draw a, a lot. Oh, and a lot of Pokemon. I will draw a lot of Pokemon because oh. I'm a huge fan of, of Pokemon. Uh, yeah. Even to these days, I, I just love the franchise so much. Interesting. Um, yeah, so so they they pretty much knew I, I love drawing since I was like a, a little kid. Of course, like most people, mm -hmm. uh, they didn't know what animation was. They will just be like, oh, it's like Disney or or DreamWorks or like, you know, parents mm -hmm. are usually like, oh, everything is Disney. But, you know, there are like <laughs> other studios, not Disney. Mm -hmm. It's the only one, but yeah. I'm glad um, that you mentioned that. Uh, that's a that's a huge <laughs> aspect of like what we're going to talk about today. It's it's like there there's more studios out there that make amazing work, just like Disney. Yeah, Disney. of course. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm yeah, sorry, but you were saying something. I'm sorry, you were you were saying. Um, something? No, uh, it was just that uh, that um, you know my my friends didn't. Uh, I mean, when I was younger, I didn't even know myself. Mm -hmm. Uh, what animation really was I just I was just interested in the process but I didn't really know about all the process it it has like you know for anime mm -hmm. uh, anything you go through different steps and then it goes through another person and then another and another and yeah it's like um how to say it like mm -hmm. a collaborative effort it's yeah exactly okay. yeah mm -hmm. okay yeah, I can only imagine. I, I remember the I, his name's escaping me, but the person who um, that did most of the work for I think Bambi, or mm -hmm. or I I think it was I, I don't know if it's Bambi, but it was one of the Disney movies from earlier on. I don't know if it was Snow White, mm -hmm. Bambi, or something, but he was constantly, constantly reworking his images and, and just, he'll have like a flip book and constantly he'll spend hours. So oh, yeah. a lot mm -hmm. of people think like the 30 minutes um, animation film that you make or something like that, it's like, oh, that's so quick. It's easy to do. It's technology, yeah. <laughs> right? But it's so much time that like you're, what you're um, alluding yeah, to, so course. much time that goes into it. Yes. Um, and it, it, it helps you, I guess, perfect your craft over time. It's like even when you're not working on something, I'm sure you're just doodling somewhere. Something. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, it, it's funny that you mentioned that because, yeah, animators are like, um, our job is to draw a lot. And when we, when we want to like rest from drawing, we draw more. <laughs> so it, it's really, it, it's funny because it's like, um, I'm relaxing drawing. But I also get stress drawing. Mm -hmm. So I, it's, um, yeah, pe um, normal people think that, oh, you're crazy for <laughs> doing that. But um, it's, it's different when mm -hmm. you draw for someone or for, for a job than when you draw something you 
you feel like drawing. Like, I don't know, I want to make some fan art of, mm -hmm. of Batman or Pokemon or Splatoon or, or whatever, you know? Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's just, it just feels different. Oh, but, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, even, I, could, I, I totally feel you as a creative. It's like, it's so much better when you're just doing it just to do it and not for a deadline or for a particular client. Maybe you're uh -huh. not that interested in working, but it's just part of your job. <laughs> yeah, no one exactly. wants their love to be work at the end of the yeah. day. So um, yeah. that's, I mean, you just hit it on the nail. It's like, it, it's, it's really an intimate intimacy that can be um what's the word i'm looking for um it could be an intimacy that can turn into work and one yeah of the, exactly and it could be a pleasure and it could also be a stressor at the same time which is crazy because mm -hmm. most people were like how is that possible or why would they do the same thing to relax from if they're doing that yeah but now they know so it's mm -hmm. it's cool i have to ask what who is your favorite what is your favorite pokemon i feel like you have to ask <laughs> uh, <this question. laughs> oh is there my, a favorite um yeah i i have like 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 a top of favorites but okay. i guess my my favorite pokemon is like one of the most uh, like underrated and not liked it by anyone uh -huh. but my favorite is uh Kabutops. um i've always have like like a personal like for like monsters and weird creatures Okay. So I guess that that's it. I, I think it's a cool Pokemon because it's like a fossil. It's like pretty ancient and it has like two big sides. And I don't, I, I remember liking it because of this um Nintendo sixty four game, uh, Pokemon Stadium. Ooh, because oh the goodness. the yeah. animations were like so so cool. They they were so good. Thanks for sharing your Pokemon um love <laughs> with us today. I I for you know I appreciate it. Um, I I grew up <laughs> on Pokemon. I don't know much about it today. I couldn't tell you all the <laughs> thousands of Pokemon either. But it's nice to chat about Pokemon as an adult. <laughs> yeah, it brings back some good memories of just yeah, the cars of and everything in the stadium. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's such a great. That's just, I remember for GameCube, I think they had something. I think they had the same version for GameCube. Um, yeah. But moving forward, I digress. <laughs> I know, again, Pokemon <laughs> crazy here. So as you got older, right, you have all this, you know, you're talking about the games, you're talking about the spirit, you're talking about, um, you know, just you doodling for fun um, and just practicing and going back and forth and just constantly, like, just, just absorbing all the information you can from the sources in which you, you know, um, came across. Um, mm -hmm. How did, when did, when did it become super serious for you? Like, when did it become, like, a profession for you? Um, mm, I'm, I mean, I went to college to do some, sing, like, film and animation career. Um, is it safe career in, in English? Like, um... Yeah, career. You got it. Yeah, career. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah, um, I, I chose that. And, like, halfway through my college, I got this, this call uh, from this growing studio, like this really um, small production. I'm going to take you uh, like a little back. Okay. Um, I, I went to um, Mexico City mm -hmm. where I went to this like expo that was about animation and video games and, you know, all type of um, media stuff. So there I met a couple of people and we like share or Facebook artist pages or okay. Facebook profiles and stuff like that to, to, to keep in touch mm. uh, sometime. So like a year after that, I received like a message from, from Facebook mm -hmm. and it's one of the guys I, I met and he's like, well, we are looking for people to work for a, for a project that it's for American TV, you know, from uh, United States. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. They, they didn't tell me the name of the, of the project because of NDA. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I pretty much agreed to it. And I had to, uh, you know, uh, basically drop out school mm -hmm. to go to Mexico City because I was in Guadalajara, which is like a, a, some, some other place in, right. in Mexico. It, it's close, but not so close. I see. But yeah, but yeah, I, I had to leave uh, Guadalajara to leave uh, Mexico City. So I did that. And I thought I was going to leave for like just like six months or one year tops. Okay. Basically, I left school and mm -hmm. I went to this um, studio and I began working for this upcoming pilot series mm -hmm. 
mm. of, of episodes called uh, Villainous uh, oh, nice. for Cartoon Network. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that, that was like my, my first professional job. And years later, uh, we, we, I, I did a lot in, in that studio called AI Animation. Mm -hmm. And it, it was, of course, for, for all for villainous. And then I, I left that studio and I joined uh, a Spindle Horse, which is where I'm working right now. Congratulations, first and foremost. <laughs> Thank you. So how does how how does an animator work in twenty twenty? I know, I know you move from paper to maybe something more graphic, or you know maybe something more um, technology based. Is can you just shed some light on that for someone who's just thinking about doing something like this in the future, or just thought about it? Or they probably do yeah. know already, but it'd be nice. Yeah, of course, of course, mm -hmm. of course. Um, I first worked with um, okay, so they are uh, you know graphic. Uh, devices to draw, which okay. are tablets, mm -hmm. or um, interactive displays, which is like a like a next level from that. So, tab tablets uh, or tablets? I don't know how it's mm -hmm. pronounced. Is it tablets or tablets? whichever way you say it today? I will accept. <laughs> I, I enjoy either way. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so they are um, like these uh, tablets. Mm -hmm. And and you draw on them, but you can see anything on the tablet. It's like all, um, you know, like like plastic, I I guess. Okay. And you need to look at the screen, uh, to see what you are doing, and the difference, uh, from that and in interactive displays is that well, the the name says it. It's like a display, and you can draw directly on it. It's like a big iPad. Okay. But it's not it's not touch. It's uh it only works with, with a pen. A pressure, and, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. So so yeah, that, that's where I, I, I work in, at the moment. I use a a Cintiq, which is like a one model from, from Wacom, which mm. which is like a, a brand that does of course the, the, the two types, you know, the the, the tablets and, and interactive displays. And of course there are like a lot of brands. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, I, I use um, this one. I use a pretty old Cintiq because okay. uh, um, I've always drawn like really like hard. Like mm -hmm. I will draw hard on paper. Mm -hmm. And and for, for example, I, I try to be like more careful when I draw on my iPad, for example, because I just don't want to ruin the screen mm -hmm. or like yeah like like break it or like um when 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 you are so hard on it that it it gets like stuck in, yeah. in some areas so yeah i just need to be more careful with that and i choose this Cintiq because it's like a pretty old and and rough and sturdy one and i can draw like really hard on it uh, it doesn't have a single scratch but i, I know they get scratch uh -huh. And I just have no idea how people need to work to to scratch them because mm -hmm. I I work really rough with mm -hmm. them and they don't have a single scratch. <laughs> but but yeah, I I chose this um old synthetic because it's they they are cheaper and I just feel more comfortable with this one because I I had a different like a more newer interactive display, mm -hmm. but I was like so afraid to to draw completely um, comfortably mm -hmm. because I will feel like I will run the screen again because I just feel like, oh, this screen is like so uh, like, like thin and this synthetic I have right now has like a really thick skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm having this uh, Wacom 21 UX, something like that. It's, it's the model, but yeah, it's like a sturdy one. So yeah, nice. that's that's where that's where I work, but uh, I also use sometimes like a tablet when mm -hmm. I can use a, a Cintiq. I can use a, a tablet, and it's uh, you know pretty. It, it's not the same, of course, but I can also work on a tablet. So anyone can work on a tablet and mm -hmm. animate on a tablet as well. So it you, you don't need a Cintiq to to be professional or to animate anything. You can do it with whatever you you can i like that that's a good message <laughs> to share with people because it's like sometimes a creative might feel stuck right like oh i need i need this device i need this mm -hmm. um, program this software and 
ah, uh, uh, it's, I, uh, I'm not going to do it, you know? And it's like, <laughs> yeah. whoa, 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 whoa. Start with what you have, right? Work with what you have. Yeah. You never know what you could produce with it, you know? So yeah, the fact that you, you gave that, that little insight for us that helps us kind of just understand that, you know, an artist is what comes from inside, right? It's, mm-hmm. it's, it's about that. It's not about, um, you know, the, the pen that we're using or that doesn't make, I mean, it makes the art, you know, a physical level, but it's really first coming in from, it's first coming out of here first into that. So mm-hmm. don't stress the devices just yet. Just master what you can with what you have. Yeah, of course. Like I, I know people who can animate like perfectly and mm-hmm. uh, with a tablet. Mm-hmm. And, and yeah, of, of course you can you can do um, anything and on or whatever you want to do. Um, any type of illustration or animation or whatever you can do it with any type of device. Like I, I've seen people animating on iPad, and I'm like, "Whoa, that's crazy!" Because um, the iPad has like uh, like some basic programs for animation. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I hope in the future we have like a like a better animation app or something mm-hmm. for iPad because I I just love the the Apple Pen. Okay. It, it's 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 just gorgeous. I, I just love the pressure on it. It's 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 really it's really good. It's like the it's like my favorite pen. I see. To to use like digital pens. I I mean, mm-hmm. of course I, I I prefer um you know real pens, like right. real markers. It it right. it just feels the uh, different. I should see that. I can see that. I could definitely see that. It's it's. Also, we're living in an age where, like, a pen is almost becoming, like, obsolete. Hopefully not. But, like, hopefully this will still be around, even, like, even <laughs> though we have, like, virtual reality and stuff like that. Yeah. I wanted to ask, like, since you are an animator, do, are there programs already or just technology that allows you to do it via um, VR or, or, or anything like that? Is, it, oh. is that technology there yet? Y- yeah, it's sort of. It, it's sort of getting getting there because mm-hmm. I, I follow one artist mm-hmm. that actually animates on on like a VR. I have no idea how he does it, but but it it's pretty cool. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's it's technology is changing so fast. It's like I can only imagine what the next ten years will look like in your field, um, or just anyone's field. To be totally honest with you, but yeah. um, do you ever feel you ever feel worried that you have to learn a new way of doing it is it is that ever a concern for you i hope i can adapt to the future but uh right now what i'm using i'm Mm -hmm. hoping it will be used for long time okay i i hope i hope uh but because some uh animators from i don't know the the classic disney movies Mm -hmm. they used to animate on paper so they uh some of them still animate on paper Mm-hmm. But some others, uh, they move to to digital um, animation. Right, right. Yeah, like, it's a big so, tra- it's a big leap, especially for someone yeah. who's, who's working on mm-hmm. paper for sure. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Because um, of course, before I I work always on on paper. Like I will draw on paper, mm-hmm. and yeah, going from from physical to digital, it it's just weird to adapt to it because it, it's. It's not the same. You, you don't feel the pen the same. Like when you hold a pencil, you know how much pressure to put on a pencil or a pen or, or a marker or whatever. Right. But uh, digitally, it's like uh, it's different. And I don't know how to, yeah, to it's express like, it's, it, but, but yeah. it, it's a different vibe. Yeah. Totally understand. Totally understand. I have questions about where you what, what you're doing now. I checked out the. Uh, well, how would you call it? It's not a. Is it a short? Is it a? Is it a? I know it's a pilot, but it's, it's supposed to be like episodic. Is that the idea behind your project now? Yeah, yeah. I'm. Uh, yeah, I'm working uh, with with Spindlecross. We are doing um, Hello Babas, an upcoming one called Zoophobia. And our latest release called um, it's it's a music video okay. of one of the characters from Hasbin Hotel. It's called Addict. 
Yeah, uh, you know, usually studios work with uh, various things at the same time. You know, they, they divide it they divide it by, by by small teams. Okay. And sometimes people are like in both projects or in three projects at uh, at the same time. Mm, okay. Um, so based on their skill sets, I'm assuming, or interests, mm -hmm, yeah. possibly. Okay. That's yeah. Cool. Exactly. Yeah, because uh, you know, they are animators. They are cleanup artists. They are uh, background artists, prop artists, character designers, right, uh, right. compositing. That's what you uh, done, so it, right? It, okay. Yeah, yeah. It, it's a lot of stuff. So, so yeah. I, I anim, I animate, and I also do compositing sometimes. Yes. And yeah. I saw your name yeah, in the credits. A little <laughs> bit of everywhere, which is really awesome. So it just yeah. doesn't show your range. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah, that that's what I what I do. Basically. That's cool. That's can mm -hmm. you share for the people who haven't watched it yet? Like more or less, you said they're hell characters, right? You know, for people who are not familiar with this, uh -huh. it's like an an animated project about uh, this organization of imps from hell who are hired to kill people or other monsters, uh, so they can go to to Earth. Uh, thanks to this, um, like a magic book mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that opens up portals that lead to the human world, like yeah. where we are. Yeah. So they they can, can they can come here and kill whoever they <laughs> they want. Um, now it like sounds a, graphic to anybody who's <laughs> watching this, but it's uh, it's yeah, hilarious. It's, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah. yeah, it's really fun to watch. It's great. Um, is there any tips or anything like advice that you would give a, an up and coming animator such as yourself? Well, I'm, I mean, I would say uh, what I say all the time, mm -hmm. which is like, uh, you know, keep pra practicing, uh, watch a lot of things, uh, study how things move and, you know, watch a lot of references. Like if you want to animate a tiger, you can watch you know, real tigers, how real tigers move. Mm -hmm. And if you want to watch like a more cartoony tiger move, you can watch, I don't know, movies with actual animated tigers like The Jungle Book mm. or um, Aladdin, stuff like that. So, uh, so always um, see, uh, you know, always refer to life first, mm -hmm. to real life first, before jumping to the, to the cartoon realm, <laughs> let's say. I see. Because, because everything comes from life, of course. Mm -hmm. So you, you're going to understand it first before you can, you know, um, transform it into something more aesthetic or cartoony or funny or whatever you want to do. Wow. And, and yeah, and don't be afraid to, you know, post your art or your animation tests or stuff like that you do. Mm hmm um, so yeah, it's, I guess my advice is practice a lot and not being afraid to show whatever you can do and don't be ashamed to, um, you know, say you work j like just on paper or, or just digitally or, oh, I, I can draw with, um, with markers. So I'm, I'm not a good, uh, artist mm -hmm. because I can master this type of thing or, I mean, nobody starts mastering anything. So, so yeah, practice is what makes you master anything you want to do. And of course, any artist, then, uh, like, if you're an artist, you don't need to know how to use every type of material. Like, I, I have no idea how to use uh, watercolors or pastel or, or I don't know, like, like other stuff, like I just know how to, um, you know, draw digitally and maybe with, with markers and, and pencils, but, but that's it. And, and that's me, but uh, there are other people who can, you know, master like painting and markers and pencils and digital and everything. And they're like, just, I, I don't know, they're like really gifted people. They are crazy, <laughs> crazy talented. Crazy talented. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for sharing um, part of your story today. Um, I really appreciate it. I know whoever's listening to it appreciates it. So I want to just tell you once again, we appreciate you. 
thank you. And um, yeah, I'm just super happy that you were able to educate me on a lot of the things that are, are brand new to me. I didn't know a lot about some of the things you're talking about, but I'm glad you were able to shed some light on it. And hopefully anybody who's watching this, maybe is inspired, you know, maybe they can put their stuff out there on Instagram or something and, and get the ball rolling a little bit. Or maybe yeah, just of course. come back to it and just feel more confident about what they're doing. Um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much.